When the time comes to pay the bill, our debt holders don't care, won't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. They only care about getting paid. And we're swiftly approaching a time when we will be unable to do so. You know, one of the reasons that I became so interested in digital currencies, in non-fiat currencies, is because they're not issued by a government. Bitcoin is not issued by a government. So it's not beholding to the debts that are run up by governments, including the greatest government that's ever existed on the face of the earth, the United States of America. The United States of America is now at the point where our debt exceeds our GDP ratio. It is the point at which nations decline. If we're going to let the dollar decline, having the lessons of history in front of us and failing to act, we're truly irresponsible. In the event that that contingency occurs, I want to make sure that non-fiat currencies, currencies not issued by governments, currencies not beholden to political elections, can grow, can allow people to save, can be there in the event that we fail at what we know we have to do. There's no proof yet in the 21st century that we're going to make this right. Time and again, in the US House and the Senate, time and again, presidents of both parties have run up the debt, irresponsibly, with no plan to address it. So thank God for Bitcoin and other non-fiat currencies that transcends the irresponsibility of governments, including our own. That is an indictment of our responsibility. Democrats and Republicans, presidents and Congress, our responsibility to address this looming, predictable, massive issue.